Hey everybody, so it's been a pretty long time since I've opened up the bar for a long form video. And a lot has happened and your boy has grown up a little bit. And sometimes I need to remind myself to make room for things that truly mean a lot to me. And YouTube and every single one of you means so much. But with that being said, we have something pretty juicy to talk about. The My Hero Academia anime got its unofficial leak. So now that Vigilantes is unofficially announced, we can start speculating on what the first season will actually cover. So for a pretty long time, I haven't been able to say this let's go inside and grab ourselves a drink what's going on folks and welcome to the bar so for the first time, I can actually say this, My Hero Academia Vigilantes is going to get an anime. I've been waiting to say that for five years, and we are finally here. So today, we're gonna take the time out to speculate what will happen in season one of My Hero Academia Vigilantes. There's a lot to sort out, and My Hero Academia Vigilantes is an anime that will probably only run for about 50 or 60 so episodes. And honestly, I'm looking at three seasons and maybe a movie. And they actually did just greenlight the new My Hero Academia movie. Horikoshi signed on for 10 films, which is wild that he's able to write them right now, because you would think writing animated films gets you put in the WGA. Anyway, Anyway, let's go over to the wall and discuss what's going to happen in season one of Vigilantes. All right, so for this anime, the first thing we have to do is speculate how many episodes are going to be in season one. If they end up only doing a 12 episode first season, this would only cover probably like the introduction of the Vigilantes and potentially the Stent Hall arc. And I absolutely believe the Stent Hall arc has the opportunity to provide a, you know, viable cliffhanger for season one. You just end the season where he starts carving his face off and giving his whole spiel about resolve. Also, the 12 episode season would set up Trigger as a plot device, as well as a secondary antagonist in Queen Hachisuka, aka the Queen Bee. Now, if we get a 26 episode season, that means the show would go as far as like the Sky Egg arc, and the cliffhanger would have to be like a significant confrontation within that arc, being like the end, end, end of the fight between Knuckle Duster and number six. So we go into the next season thinking Knuckle Duster is dead. But the true caveat to My Hero Academia Vigilante season two is that the first arc that they will adapt if they do the 26 episode piece is the Eraserhead Rising arc. Which, if season one wasn't a massive opportunity to attract new people into the show, this will definitely bring in veterans of My Hero Academia because they love Aizawa. Though if we do only get 12 episode seasons, it'll be definitely a lot more slower paced. But honestly, I think that's where viewership comes in. So if Vigilantes is massively successful, there's no way that they're gonna green light a second season for 12 episodes. But it's gonna be interesting to see all of the changes that they do aesthetically. Like Vigilantes requires its own score, it requires its own ending and opening. Maybe we even get a new version of Yusei Run. If they make Yusei fly, I will cry my eyes out. Because look, if you're a manga reader and you've been reading My Hero Academia Vigilantes for as long as I have, holy crap, I can't believe that this is actually going to happen. You had to see my YouTube comments. The minute that it got announced, people came to my videos and were just, you know, hounding me and yelling at me to make new content. But at the same time, they were acting like that one office meme where Michael is freaking out saying it's happening. Because honestly, I was starting to lose hope that they would ever even get an anime adaptation. And look, at this point, I'll take an anime adaptation over the Vigilantes appearing in the main manga. Because to be quite honest, I'm in it. Whether it's a 12, 24, 26 episode season, I don't care. There's a possibility that you might not get a full long form video about it, but I promise I will make a review for every single one of those episodes of My Hero Academia Vigilantes. So yeah, essentially what I think is going to happen in season one is that if we have a 12 episode season, we're gonna have Stend Hall appear and hopefully the resolution of the Stend Hall arc. I cannot wait for the Knuckle Duster versus Aizawa fight scene in like the second episode. Hopefully they expand the fight scene a little bit more past like the four panels that it is because all that it is is really Aizawa realizing that he's getting ready to beat up a geriatric old man before stopping himself of course. But it feels like that moment right there kind of sets the tone for the entire series. But when I really think about it, being that the Stend Hall arc only ends on chapter 10, the series or season one would really 
only end without the introduction of number six, who is the main antagonist of My Hero Academia Vigilantes. Personally, I think the 26 episode season is the right move, considering that would give you substantial time to introduce the vigilantes, introduce Stenthal, and do his arc, do the Queen Bee arc, and maybe even end the season around the Osaka incident. It's really hard to divide this up, considering that My Hero Academia Vigilantes was a bi-weekly manga and has pretty much half the amount of the chapters that My Hero Academia did when it got its anime adaptation. But I really do think that one of the most important things to do for this anime is to introduce number six as quickly as possible, because in my opinion, sometimes your shows are only as good as your villains. And I'm honestly expecting them to establish number six as an absolute menace. Now, personally, I think I've made my opinion clear. I'm in favor of a 26 episode season. If they manage to do a 26 episode season and actually get past the Sky Egg arc and season two starts off with the school days arc and everybody gets to see what Aizawa was like when he was at UA, I literally can't even fathom that. But at the same exact time, I understand the move that could be made if they do the 12 episode season. You give the viewers just a taste of what's to come and hopefully it inspires them to pick up the books. And by foreshadowing number six, you can hopefully get the desired effect like we did when All For One first showed up in season three of My Hero Academia. But number six is a bit of an egoist, so we meet him a lot earlier in the series. So if season one was only 12 episodes, there isn't a chance that we would get to the Osaka incident where you would meet number six. But if there was a 26 episode season, it would be more than likely that we would meet number six in probably like episode 14 or 15, albeit in disguise. I really do feel like Vigilantes has the opportunity to push the visual boundaries of animation and to give us a new soundtrack for My Hero Academia that blows us away with it being so fresh and new. And I know this is kind of like a nerdy aspect, but I really am looking forward to the score of this anime. When they swap out those horns and you say run for an electric guitar, you better bet your ass that I'm gonna be screaming. Look, in my opinion, this anime has the opportunity to refresh a kind of stagnant fandom. A lot of people have longed for the friendly neighborhood Deku to come back. Well, guess what? Vigilantes never leaves that feeling. The moment it starts to depart from something like that, it's the final arc of the series and it ends. Vigilantes is going to be the anime that actually addresses the question, what does it mean to be a hero? And look, this series is actually finally going to give us a little bit of insight as to how the world of My Hero Academia operates. The fact that they're vigilantes diametrically opposes that question of what it means to be a hero, and the entire time Koichi is there navigating that line between right and wrong. The three main characters of this manga are trying to find their identity, they're trying to find their purpose in life, while also trying to maintain their own morality and ethics in this crazy situation that they've enveloped. And the one thing that I'm really looking forward to is actually seeing the world of My Hero Academia outside of the hero world. We're gonna meet people who are career criminals that changed their life. We're gonna meet individuals who've been victimized by heroic society just because of their quirks. The best part about this show is that the first season of Vigilantes isn't going to just introduce the main characters. It's going to introduce the world of My Hero Academia. You're gonna see Aizawa on his day off. And that's the least of it, because this guy arguably has the greatest arc in the entire series. Hell, it introduced my favorite character in My Hero Academia. There's a lot to look forward to in season one of Vigilantes, and regardless if it's 12 episodes or 26 episodes, I'm just really grateful that one of my favorite mangas is actually getting an anime adaptation. Also, seeing the two main manga that I've covered for the longest time actually get their opportunity to become an anime, it's just kind of heartwarming too. Just thinking of it, I gotta get back on my kaiju number eight grind. Other than that, let me know how you feel about the Vigilantes anime announcement. Do you think we're headed towards a 24 or 12 episode season? Let me know. And once again, thank you all for coming to the bar. I really appreciate every single one of you. I promise there's going to be more videos from here on out. I'll catch y'all later. Cheers.